I'm Ben Turner uh, and I'm a senior security consultant at Netitude. So I guess I've always been interested in computers uh, from quite a young age uh, and I kind of did it at school. Um, I went on to college and did it at college and then continued my studies at university. Um, and I guess it wasn't probably till university that I kind of really understood security. Uh, I've always tried building computers, um, but it was sort of a module at university, so it was just security and associated with risk and things like that that made me sort of want to try and break stuff and, and find the way of, you know, the other way around it rather than build stuff. Um, and I guess that's pretty much what got me into it. Um, so I did a lot of stuff at university against, you know, like as I just said, risk and things like that um, and, and how we define it and how you test against that sort of stuff. Uh, and then I, I started using the tools that we use in penetration testing against sort of things in the lab and things that I've built at home. Uh, and I guess I really just got a real thirst for it and thought this was definitely something that I wanted to do. Um, and then I sort of went further and further, you know, within university and then wanted to become a graduate penetration tester. And that's kind of what I did, really. So my typical day would be um, would be a range of things. Obviously, it's quite varied in, in our industry. Um, we'll kind of start from the scoping uh, stage where we'd probably get involved with pre-sales. Uh, which was kind of help work with the client to try and find out what their goals are and where their risks and where their threats are coming from. And that kind of helps us gauge how we scope a test and whether, whether they're internet facing, so we need to test stuff from the internet, or whether we need to go on site and help them and test from that perspective, or you know, when, when, whether they've got mobile apps or web apps. So we kind of, that's what we kind of do, get on scoping calls to try and derive that from the customer and help work with them. Um, and then again, obviously, I, I conduct the testing as well. So once we've done the pre-sales and the scoping, we'll do the testing. And like I just said, that can range from you know internal testing to, to external testing, on-site stuff, uh, web apps, mobile apps, um, all, all things like that, really. Or just doing the whole red teaming, which is kind of brings it all together, really, where you kind of use a bit of everything and, and try and just aim to get inside the company as sort of a malicious simulated real-world attack. Um, and obviously, well, on top of that, there's the reporting side of stuff, uh, which we, we kind of do every test. That's pretty much what the client gets at the end of it. Um, so I do a lot of that in, you know, as part of my time as well. And then I guess just keeping up to date, really, uh, on top of all the latest threats and exploits out there, really. So the, the best bits about my job is, well, essentially breaking stuff. Um, and I guess working with the client most of the time because, however, I, I like to break stuff. Uh, I really like to help them fix it as well. So um, that's kind of one of the best things I enjoy about my job. Um, and I guess working on different systems. So, you know, one week we could be doing a remote web app test uh, to on site, you know, the next week being on site in, in London or any part of the country or worldwide, really. And I guess that's one of the most enjoyable parts about my job is. It's, it's different all the time. You're not in one place at the same time and you're, and you're not testing the same thing and it's all different. So to try and keep up to date in the industry, um, I generally use sort of Twitter and uh, Reddit. These are sort of apps on, on my phone that I use and I, I sort of keep up to date on them and I uh, follow a lot of people in the industry, a lot of highly, highly thought of people and companies as well. Um, I guess that's my main sort of source of, in sort of, source of knowledge rather. Um, I also got the register online, the security side of it, that sort of has a lot of the, the latest hacks, latest news in the industry. Uh, I guess that's the main, the main way I try and keep up to date because we're always on the road or it could be out and about. I like to just you know, have everything on my mobile so I can try and keep up to date that way. The way I see my career going is, is more towards the sort of red teaming side of stuff, the more simulated attack scenarios. So rather than just doing focused sort of web app testing or internal testing, I guess it's kind of bringing it all together and doing like a real world attack scenario, um, sort of similar to the, the Crest exams that have been coming out recently, sort of more trying to simulate a real world attack. So any advice for people trying to join the industry, I guess, is just to make, make you aware that it, it's, it's hard work, um, but it's, it's worth it. Um, there's a lot of research that needs to go in, into your day-to-day your, you know, -day job. You've got to always keep up to date. Um, but I guess just, just learn you know, learn a lot about security and uh, about all the threats out there and all, you know, the recent type of attacks and hacks and sort of get, keep up to date that way, really. And that's how you can kind of learn, really.